everyone, it's Megan here. So today I'm filming a makeup haul and I just want to tell you something real quick. I didn't buy any of this makeup myself. My boyfriend bought it. So thanks to my boyfriend over the past couple weeks, we've been, you know, shopping here and there and he's picked up a lot of makeup for me. So I'm, I thought, why not just film a makeup haul so I could put all this stuff away and start using some of the stuff. I have already used some of it. I kind of wait, but I kept it in the packaging. I put it back in the packaging for you guys. But let's just get started with the big lots. It goes big lots, Walmart, and then the Dollar Tree. The very first thing I found at Big Lots is this um, New York City. Sorry, I got tongue-tied. This is my third time trying to film it, so I'm just going to keep on going. If I get sound like I'm getting tongue-tied or I can't talk, just excuse it. Let's just act like it's not happening because I can't edit this since I'm filming on my iPhone. And I'm just, we're just going to go with the flow here. But this is called Park Avenue plum and this is a cheap color and I picked this up because I'm going to do a one brand makeup tutorial with New York color and that is one of the things I needed so I found it there for $1.50 I'm like why not pick it up the another thing I picked up is the wet and wild natural blend press powder and they specifically don't make this one anymore so this is actually my third one I have one in my school bag I have one in my makeup collection down there and this is a backup because again it's my absolutely favorite powder and they don't make this one specifically anymore so I had to pick it up and this was a dollar eighty there so it was a really good deal to pick it up plus it's my favorite powder ever 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 like love it to death so I had to get a backup those are only two things I got at big lots now let's go to Walmart and I got all this stuff yesterday but you guys won't see this until Friday. But I picked all this stuff up on oh, Tuesday. So, again, like I said, thanks to the boyfriend, I got all this stuff. But the very first thing I got is this Milani lip color. And it's a, like, stain. And this is called Velvet Attic. And I found it for $2. It was originally $5.97. And it's a plum color, like a purplish. This is a very, very vibrant purple. Then it kind of fades to a pinky color and this is the aftermath of it this is about a eight hour wear and it's just a little bit of stained pink on my lips now but this absolutely amazing they had a hot pink one on clearance too i really want to go back and pick it up because i loved these um but i know they're not really good for fall like this color might be good to work into the fall but the other one was it but i think i'm just going to go pick it up anyways because they're really really good and they're high shine um absolutely amazing i really think i want to review these but i don't think that's like a real new product but who knows i might oh and like i was going to say before i just started talking and rambling um if you guys would like to see a review on any of these products let me know because i'll definitely review them for you guys because lately it's been so hard for me to find products to like talk about or review or make do makeup tutorials and everything so um if you guys would like to see any of these videos and like a review or anything are these products and a video please let me know okay again like I said let's just act like I'm not stuttering um I have more stuff in here a lot more the very next thing I got is this Maybelline pumped up mascara I have been wanting to try this forever and I finally got it I was just like hell why not even though I have like literally like 10 mascaras in my drawer I had to pick this one up and yes I opened it I know I shouldn't have I should have waited but I didn't um this is in black I only like black mascara I'm not a fan of brown but um if I do have brown I'll use it but I prefer more black and it's awesome the brush is really weird um it kind of reminds me of a fake brush like look at that there's like little kinks in it but it's absolutely amazing I would definitely recommend this and if you guys would like to see a more in-depth review just let me know and I think that was like $5.96 or something along there. The next thing I got is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's a concealer and this is like all over YouTube. I got this in Light Pell um, 110 or no sorry 120 because I put this under my eyes and this is absolutely amazing. Definitely a full coverage concealer. I'm probably going to review this if not um I'll probably talk about it a little bit more in like a chit chat get ready with me or something. I'm actually going to throw away the packaging now, but this is what the packaging looks like. I think this was close to $9. This is absolutely amazing. I love this concealer and I see why everybody raves about it. And lately I have been like buying so much concealer, but that's okay. I'm just going to build up my collection of concealer. Um, and this is absolutely amazing. It's definitely a dark circle eraser and I definitely recommend that. 
The next thing I got is this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, and this is just in black. I needed a new one. It's only a dollar because my old one, I've had it for so long that the tip was starting to feather out, and I couldn't get a very good line, so I had to empty that in my empties bin. And the next thing I got is this Mulani dark brown eyeliner pencil. And it was originally $3.47. I found it on clearance for a dollar. Um, I picked it up just because it said a dollar. Let's not lie. Um, but I don't know. It's good to have extra backups of brown because I only have, I don't know, like six browns, I guess. Well, the only brown I use is from like the CoverGirl. The other ones are Urban Decay and I hardly ever use those ones. But maybe I'll just start using those and then I'll put this in my backups when I run out of brown eyeliner and that's the last thing or this is the last thing and this came from Big Lots and at my Big Lots they have been selling a whole bunch of Sephora OPI nail polishes and this is an, a green one I found this one last year while I was there and I didn't pick it up because I didn't have money and even though it was like super cheap I didn't go in the store with like any money on me um and this is called caught me with my khakis down and it's was a dollar eighty. Definitely picked it up. It's a very pretty green color for fall, and it's a OPI nail polish. So why not pick it up for a dollar eighty? I know these run to about eight or nine dollars, so I got a really good deal on that. And the very last things from the Dollar Tree, I got all the stuff was a dollar, so I don't have to tell you guys the prices anymore. Um, this is the, called the Fantasies Maker, and it's by the creators of Wet n Wild. And this came out with their um halloween stuff and it's a wet and wild two eyeshadows a eyelashes a nail polish which i'll probably never use and sorry i got like something on my lip and a lipstick and i'm going, going to definitely use this for a vampire look for um halloween and then I got these um, Wet n Wild eyelashes, and these are so crazy. I can't wait to use these, and I'm definitely using these for a Halloween tutorial, but I'm not going to tell you guys which one because I kind of want it to be a surprise. Then here's another vampire look, and I just got this mainly for the lashes because the lashes are super cute, and I definitely love the colors that it comes with down here. And again, this one comes with a nail polish and another lipstick. Then I picked up two eyeshadows while I was there. And I already showed these, I showed this one in my um, vlog channel because I'm doing vlog timber. If you guys haven't been watching my vlogs, I'll put the link down below because I vlog every single day. A vlog is up there every single day, the month of September. I was going to say November, but we're in September. Um, this is a e.l.f. Studio Baked Eyeshadow in Dust, and it's just a gray smoky color. And the next thing I got is this Mulani Powdered Eyeshadow, and it's just a brown color. i seen Thrifty Beauty get this, and they look so pigmented, so I'm like, I definitely have to pick at least one up. So I picked at least one of those up, and this was my whole entire haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're new, please come up to subscribe, be my friend, and thumbs up the video. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Peace.